create powerful SaaS application using Deep Agent. With just one prompt, this is able to create backend, frontend, authentication, and much more. Here's an example where it automatically tried to create a Twitter like application. Here is another example where it tried to create AI recruiter app capable of handling all the application, creating a notion like application. And we are going to test this tool and see how it's going to work. Let's get started. First, I'm providing the prompt, build a simplified web app inspired by notion with user authentication. That is one of the key feature, which I'm going to try this. Then with few more options, I'm going to send the request. You can see the prompt here. Now deep agent started working. Now it's clarifying few more details and I'm answering those questions. So I'm just saying yes. Now it went on to planning. Also on the right hand side, you can see the computer option, a dedicated computer specifically for performing this task, which is capable of browsing the internet, building the application, testing the application and running the application. You also have the ability to control this computer. So here I'm opening a browser and you can see it automatically open. I'm going to close it. So this is a computer within the browser. And here you can see it automatically started writing the list of files, started running the commands such as yarn command. And this is really nice. It automatically created all the required folders, the files, and also it's automatically adding content to each of the files. Before seeing how the application is going to look like, to sign up for this application, go to chat LLM for teams from Abacus AI. There you will have access to all the top models such as Claude Sonnet, Gemini 2.5, DeepSeek, O3 Pro and O4. You also have multiple features which you can try and I'll provide the link in the description for you to sign up. And thanks to Abacus AI for sponsoring this video. This deep agent is powerful. You can see the number of files it created for just this one application. And also you can see it's automatically running the terminal commands to build the application and to run the application. Here you can see it ran yarn run dev and the application is running in this local host. And this is its own sandbox. Now it's capable of browsing the internet as well. So it's opening the application with it just created. And here's the sign in option that is authentication. So this deep agent is capable of creating this authentication automatically. Now I got this preview window, which I can try and test the application. I asked it to create a demo user with username demo and the password as password for me to just test it on this interface. But I can later ask it to remove that user. When I first started using Devin, this is exactly how it looked like. All the browsing, the back end, front end, the terminal access, everything, this agent got the control. One thing surprised me most is that it has its own task manager. You can see the list of tasks and the current subtask it's working on. One thing I noticed is that it's automatically testing the application, identifying the issues and fixing it automatically. That is really nice. And here is the application ready. I can even deploy this application right from here. And this automatically gives me the full URL. So let's do that deploy. You can either provide the custom domain, custom subdomain, or I'm going to use the default, just saying notion style and deploy. And here is my deployed URL. So just going to open it. And here you can see I've opened that URL and I've got the demo here. So I can just say demo at example.com and the password just signing in. And here you can see notion like application. Let's try to view this page and you can see it's like notion markdown. Let's go back collaboration guidelines. Let's try to create a new document. Going to type multi agent framework and just adding the content here. And I've got the document visibility as well. I can either make it public or private. So let's try that. So now it's public. Going back, you can see multi agent framework, the page which I've just created. So let me try the search bar as well. Multi, yeah, it's able to search as well. So I can log out and I can sign up. Everything is working really nice. And this is really cool. Do try and let me know in the comments below what you think about this. Considering you already like chat LLM, deep agent to create application. I also create another video about chat LLM. I'll put the link in here. It's about few other examples which you can try and create within this chat LLM interface. And I highly recommend for you to watch and I will see you there.